Okay, so I'm always complaining and I'm always telling you guys to create your folders in your scratch drive. The reason I do that is because usually there's two terabytes available in your scratch drive and that's about 2000 gigs. That's a whole lot of memory. Um, that's a whole lot of uh, hard drive space. Your iPod is probably 16 gigs and think about how many thousands of songs it holds. So you're talking about 2000 gigs. So the video that we shoot is high definition, so it, it needs more space. The reason also, even though the scratch drives have been unreliable, I want you to create on the scratch drive is because that way you can switch computers if you need to. If we swap out that entire computer, everything will stay on the scratch drive and you won't have to worry, oh my god, I lost all my stuff. I am huge on keeping file management. Right now, I'm on my home computer, so different projects are out in the open, like over here, over here. But for you guys, the reason I'm a stickler about things is because there's 130 of you guys and you're all doing the same thing, so it's going to get lost. My first period is going to do a Malcolm in the Middle project. My third period is going to do a Malcolm in the Middle project. So usually the first thing I tell you to do is label it your period first and then your name or your group name. The way you would do that is if you ever get open up your scratch drive and it looks like this and I say hey create a new folder and you start looking like it doesn't do it miss it doesn't it doesn't work that's fine click on your icon view find a white space you right click and right click means with your middle finger right click you select new folder and then suddenly untitled folder comes up and you can call it eighth period shiny productions all right I know there's no eighth period but whatever it's gonna put that folder in alphabetical order so it starts with a six eight numbers go first then a B C and so on and so forth then you're gonna open up that folder and it opens up an entirely new window. Unlike Windows uh, PC computers, when you open this up, it just replaces this window. For a Mac, it opens up another window so you can set these windows next to each other. If you wanted to create another window, uh, another folder inside, video day one, you double click and it opens up yet another window. So you can constantly, it'll open up as many windows as you want it to. So just be cognizant of that. If you need to change the name of a folder, all you have to do is click on that blue part and now it's highlighted in light blue and you can change the name. Here's what I see a lot of and it's just aggravating, it's something that you can do. Once everything is highlighted, there's no need to click and then delete every single thing. It doesn't make any sense. All right. All you have to do is make sure all of this is highlighted and you can type in whatever it is you want to type in. So just be cognizant of that little nuance there with it's always going to open up a new window and you can set these windows next to each other in case you wanted to move something. If I wanted to move all this extra stuff, I can move it to a new window.